Hello everybody, this is Trina back with another jelly print video. Today I'm going to be working on some tissue paper. These are pieces that I made yesterday with some blues and metallics and I wanted to do a video to show you how I make these prints. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut obviously your tissue paper and I just used to cut this with an exacto knife and a ruler with some paper that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using some metallics and some whites and some of these craft paints, this cool iridescent pink, uh, the bronze color, and some Arteza paints and some oak paint. I also have these uh, mica powders that I put in water and we might use those as well. The first thing you want to do is obviously roll out some paint and I'm going to use this metallic bronze color and some of the Arteza white and we're just going to brayer that out on the plate. You want to remember to lift your brayer a little bit so that the paint doesn't get stuck completely to the plate. You want a light touch here and a thin coat of paint. And now I'm going to add in some gold. So for the beginning of these pieces, I usually do some solid colors with a little bit of um, some stencils lightly as a base, and then we'll go back in and print over them again. You want to be very delicate. This paper is prone to ripping and pull from the bottom to get a nice quick print. So here I'm adding in some of the ice blue because I like that with the brown color. And again, just slightly brayering, adding in a stencil. And I bought these stencils off Amazon, and I will leave a link below to those as well. They're very inexpensive. And it doesn't take a lot to rub the back of these um, tissue paper papers because it, it's so light. Um, you don't want a lot of paint. If you put a lot of paint on, you're going to rip your paper. Um, we don't want to do that because we put all this work in making these lovely prints. Here I'm adding in some uh, raw sienna, I think, and using another stencil. I really like the stencil. Rolling over it. You can see how it makes a really cool mark there. Another sheet of paper, lightly pressing down, pulling it from the bottom to make a neat print. That one's really gold. More ice blue for this one. And you see I never clean my plate. I like for the layers to sort of build up. And the more that you print on the plate, the more texture and it's going to pull up some of those colors below. And I'm okay with that. I sort of like the melange. This one turned out really nice. The ice blue is nice with the uh, that yellow sienna color. Here I am adding in some of the cool gray and some yellow okra and some white. And we're just going to roll this out lightly. Remember to lift your brayer, um, get good clean marks. It also makes it easier to put the uh, to thin the paint down. And this kind of made like a really cool green and so this one I'm gonna just use the uh, paint that was on top of the stencil for a nice little extra touch and the idea is to build up lots of little layers this is how I work on all of my papers including when I'm just printing on normal paper and I really like that blue color um, I don't like to do it all at once. I like to do it in little sections so I can add little touches of pieces here and there. And that one came out really nice as well, a little later. And I like a variety of papers um, in different colors. And then I will use these later for collage as you, I will probably be making another video about the collage work that I did. Um, because I'm really into that right now and I, I'm really liking doing the collages. This is really nice with the white 
and I'm just gonna take this one sheet here and use it on this part, just the top of the brayer marks. You can see that made a really nice pattern over the gold. Add a little bit more into this piece here. You need to make sure you have a lot of room on your table. I need a bigger table because I don't have a lot of room. So now we have this piece. I'm just going to pull a print from here. I'm going to pull slow with pressure. There we go. That's really nice. That blue and white is really cool. I'm adding in some more of that bronze color, that brown, brown metallic. more stenciling and this one I kept it really simple and brown but we're gonna print over that eventually you can see how that shimmers and I believe I'm on my last sheet of paper usually when they, I do these sessions I only print about 10 or so pieces sometimes I print but mostly it's about 10 pieces this is a 5x7 jelly plate that I cut down from an 8x10. I just cut it in half. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but I did it. So I do have a full um, 8x10 one, and I also cut down one of the 5x7s into 3x5s. So I like to have different sizes. And that one turned out really nice too. Okay, now we've got all our background pieces printed. I'm gonna roll out some gold and we're gonna start working on adding in some textures onto the tops of the pieces and rolling out the brayer with this really cool stencil. Adding it over this pink, which I think will be really pretty with the gold. That's really nice. Taking the stencil off adding some into this blue ice and you can see I don't add it everywhere and I ripped the paper that paper was not dry and I did just rip the paper but that's okay you're gonna rip some it happens um, I'm not too worried about it It doesn't happen very often uh, I just don't think I let that dry enough before I printed over it um, the prints do dry pretty quickly and that's kind of a bonus here I'm adding in some bronze metallic color um, I'm really liking the shimmer and the sparkle. My work uh, is generally not sparkly, but when I've been doing these collages, I've really been enjoying adding in a bit of that sparkle, almost a brocade-like print to it. So I'm going to add some of this bronze onto this piece. And you can see I'm not adding it all over, creating textures and layers. Just a little corner here, a corner there, to really almost get more collaging on top of collage, if that makes sense. And the layers are what build up the uniqueness of these papers. And you could do this on regular paper, um, but the thing that I like about working with the tissue paper is that when I work over top of my, uh, the pieces that I made on uh, thicker paper, it just dissolves into the background. So here you can see that one I ripped, but that's okay. See, we look, we can just tear it off, it's still usable. Um, so these are the finished products. I really like that texture right there and that pink iridescent color is fabulous. I like this one in the bronze. Um, so yeah, there are many ways that you can do this. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, oh, I really like this one a lot. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.